all right guys welcome back to my channel beauty over 50 as you guys know my name is lisa and welcome back guys yes i got something to tell you guys and but me and my daughter is okay first let's give an honor to god because god is good um me and my daughter got into a car accident this is why i have not been um coming on filming but me and my daughter is okay uh but the the car is the whole right side of the car is is totaled so i just thank god that we walked away from the accident no scratch no nothing i give an honor to god oh my god oh god is good that's all i can say to you guys so welcome welcome back uh, you know welcome to my channel guys so we're going to get right into this uh makeup look that i'm getting ready to do and the look that i'm gonna do yes i'm gonna go use a little color tonight we're gonna try to do a purple look as you can see i have one eye already done um it didn't come out exactly how i wanted it at first so i had to do a little manipulation to the eye you know to get it the way i wanted i didn't want to take it back off and redo it over so this is what we're going to go with tonight um that's what it's looking like so i'm just going to show you guys from start to finish like i've always uh do i'm kind of liking these start to finish uh makeup looks so you guys can see everything i do um i will be trying out new products i mean the products probably they've been out for a while but they're new to me so on that note we're going to get started okay first of all this bra pencil let me tell you about this i did use it over here and i am really liking this it's giving me more precision than um the bra pencils this is from revlon oh let me put on my little granny glasses guys yep i like these little glasses i call these my granny glasses <laughs> i got them from excuse me i got them from the uh, dollar store I think they're kind of cute. <laughs> okay. This is a Revlon. This is from the uh, Color Stay line. It's, it says Shape and Glow. So we have a glow um, powder on one end, and then we have the eyebrow tip on the other end. And this is what this looks like. It looks like an eyeliner, but it is for the bras. I am liking it because it gives me more precision. You know, when you get a little older, it, you, your hands shake a little bit when you're trying to put on your makeup. So, with this tip here, it helps me to guide. Let me show you guys. Guide on a little bit uh, better. that's what i like about this i told you guys i was going to do uh more getting different bra pins bra i bra i well <laughs> getting different pins and 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 pencils to see how they work out so um i'm really liking this one i may stick with this one the only thing that i the gripe that i have about this i have two put it down like this so the liquid can go to the bottom as i'm doing it but i don't mind that uh you just have to have a little bit of patience and i am liking this it's really quick you can draw your bra hairs in with it ladies um i am really liking this bra pencil and also I have my big mirror in front of me you guys can't see the mirror but it's there because I without a magnifying mirror I cannot do this <laughs> I'm just gonna be up and honest I be all over the place all right that gave me more precision yeah I'm really liking this guy so i advise you if you have not tried it you know try it out i'm just now going in making little strokes where my hair is less at 
just filling it in very lightly and it dries down really really good so I am really liking that yes I am see this little tip right here and do a little more precision there and I can just take that up like this and make little strokes like so yeah I'm really liking this bra pencil see now I gotta <laughs> push it down so I can get some more uh liquid at the bottom so how everybody been doing out there in youtube land i've been doing great i am blessed like i said oh bless the first no second snowfall we got that's when i got into the car accident uh the roads was very icy it was early in the morning and we slid into a sign and hit a tree guys yes we did and you know god was with us so you know we in search for another car and um i'm not worried about it my father gonna bless me with one so i am not worried about it at all so there we go with that bra um i'm really liking this like I said, this is Revlon. This is from Revlon. You can get this from your drugstore. Uh, try it out. If you do have it, tell me how, how you like it. I'm loving it. Um, this bra pencil because, it, like I said, it gives me more precision. I'm really liking this. So you guys might see me using this more often. Let me see. Can I show you guys? This is really... It's really really nice and it has the glow at the bottom this goes on your bra bone it's a highlighter on the end of the tip yeah I'm really really liking it so I'm gonna set that over here and we're gonna start concealing our bra with um, Mac uh, the concealer that I am using oh all right let me tell you guys let me put back on my granny glasses <laughs> i like these i they come in all different colors so i got all the colors this is nc48 the color that i'm going in with to conceal with and i'm taking this is a wet and wild brush and i'm just going in here like so and i am going to go up under that and conceal I wish we could have some music playing. I would love to put on some worship music while I'm doing my makeup. I would love to do that. Yes. Oh, shucks. I done messed up there. But one thing about it, if you mess up, you can just take your bra pen. I call it a pen. And go back in and straighten it up. So we're going to just bring that down like that, like we always do. And um, yeah, guys, it was <laughs> it, that I've never been into a car accident in my life. That was the first accident I ever had. And we were blessed. God was with us. I tell you, God was with us. Yes, he was uh -huh. you know the devil he, he's out here to kill steal and destroy and just be careful because he is trying to kill all of god's children and we have to be very very careful so i'm gonna take the rest of that concealer and i'm just going to instead of going into another one just conceal my eye with this Basically, guys, this is going to be a soft glam that I am doing tonight. Uh, yeah, because I would have been back on here making another video because I want to. Uh, this year, my goal is to take this more serious than I've been taking it. 
you know, my channel. So, yeah. So, we're going to conceal this. And I will get to your question real soon. Uh, one of my subscribers asked me, how do you, um, she puts on her foundation. When she put on her foundation, you know, the age spots get darker. Um, the only thing, the only advice that I can give her and recommendation for that, because I do have uh, dark spots on my face and age spots they're very you know tiny right now and the next brush we're going to go in with is a sigma and this is the p84 this is a buffer brush it looks like that so we're just going to go in and blend this out like so so yes she was asking me what to do you know how can you hide your age spots and what can she do you know it could be the foundation um the only thing i can do is recommend what i do going in with becca this is a powder from becca that i'm concealing I'm gonna uh, put the powder over the concealer now so your uh i so your um oh my goodness why is it on the tip of my tongue and i can't even your eyeshadow won't crease <laughs> oh my goodness all right guys here we go voila buff that right on in so the only thing I do for my dark spots, like I have dark spots up under my eyes and I have moles on my face. And what I do is conceal them, go in with a color corrector. You can get this from your beauty supply store, order it off of Amazon, or you can find a color corrector in your local drug stores. Um, this is, the, this is uh, the color for me. They have three different color color correctors um, yellow green and the red I use red for my complexion because I have a uh, red undertones in my complexion some people have yellow undertones and some people have green undertones you have to use the undertone uh, when you buy a corrector you have to know what is your undertone so mine's is red so I go in and put a little dot up under here and conceal them with that so it will not show through the foundation. Like my dark marks here and the spots that I do have on my face now right over here. You can see them very much so, you know, a lot better. Those are where I have my age spots at on my face my mold so I just take that in with a little concealer this is why I don't really put on highlight uh, a lot when I do my makeup if you guys notice and been following me uh, you notice I really don't use a lot of highlighter I mean I do it is beautiful but um, sometimes you can use the highlighter and it will highlight, you know, what you have. So, on that note, now that's, this is what I do to cover up my dark spots. Um, I usually put some down here also. Just a little bit on my lap lines. And right around my mouth that's where I'm usually pretty dark at so I hope I answered your question pretty good um, I can only tell you what I do so this is what I do uh, 
to deal with that problem. I mean, we're all going to have them. We're all, you know, we cannot avoid it. You know, we are here, you know, aging and we uh, age gracefully. So, and um, that's all I can say, you know, hey, we're all, we all getting them. You know, once you get up there in age, 60s, 70s, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna have them. And welcome to all my new subscribers. Yay, I'm glad you're here. Um, thank you for uh, joining the family. I just call this the beauty family, basically. Um, all right. Let's go and get right into this eye look real quick. We're going to put this back. Let me set everything I use to the side so I won't forget not to put nothing down in the, the box. All right. Let's go in. So we're going to go into the Morphe palette. This is... Put my granny glasses back on, guys. <laughs> so I can see. All right. This is the Morphe uh, eyeshadow palette. This is the 35B. So this is what we're going to go in. I think this is more like the colorful one right here. These are what the colors look like. And we're going to go into these three. Where they at? Purple ones right here. Well, they look blue, but they're purple. Let me see. Can okay. Wow. They actually look blue on camera. They're perp. They're purple. They're purple. Trust me. Well, I might look blue too. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get started. All right, let me find my the brush we're gonna go in with. This is just an Elf flat brush, the Clear Handle uh, collection. I'm going to go into that dark purple, and I'm going to put that dark purple right on the outer V of my eye, like so. All right, take it a little bit up in here. This is going to be an all matte eyeshadow look. I've never done an all matte eyeshadow look uh, since I have my channel. So this is going to be new, no shimmers, just mattes for the eye look. Okay, we're going to plop that. That is a pretty color. I'm really liking that color. So we're going to just take that, put that in here. Let me get my blending brush. Mm -hmm. And the brush we're going to go in for is the blend. The brushes basically I will be using, guys, are Morphe brushes. And the blending brush that I'm going in with is the M M330. So that is a tapered blending brush, it looks like that. And we're going to just take that in and we're going to continue to blend. Like I always say, ladies, it's all about the blend. It's all about that blend. I'm not going to blend out that side because I do want that a little uh, darker. So on that note, we're going to take our other, let me see, is this a Morphe brush? Uh, no, we're going to take go up just one color, a lighter color, and it is purple, and we're going to pat that in like so, and then we're going to go and blend that out. Yeah, this is more like, they're matte colors, but I think these, these purples are on the cooler side, guys. That's what these, I believe these are. 
these are on the cooler side so I'm just gonna take that up like so and just blend that in like that all right let's blend that in this is a very you know still a blending brush but it's a very fine tip blending brush more gives you more precision so I'm going to go back in with that um where you at oh here you go with the elf I used the one side to put the purple on now I'm going to switch to the other side and we're going to put um, we're going to go into a lighter purple and we're just going to tap that on the lid and this is also a matte color Oh my goodness, I meant to put the concealer on. Oh, all right, guys, I'm going to see. Can I get it like the other eye? Like so. So, right now, this is how we are looking. Yeah, I did put concealer up under that eye first. All right, slow down, Lisa. Yep, slow down. All right. So, now after that, I am going in with a pink, and we're going to put that pink right in the middle. This is also a matte color, also, guys. So, we're just going to... Put that in like so. More like a halo eye color, a halo look. So this is what we're gonna do. We're just blending, blending it into the other colors. And then I'm going to take uh, just a tad bit darker pink. And put in there like so. Okay. Well, it still showed up better, pretty good. I can't complain about that. It showed up pretty good. So we're going to go back into that dark, deep, dark purple. Yeah, these are cooler colors. I've never really used a cool color before always been warm tone colors and like I said I love my my nude looks but I wanted to do something different a different color so there we have it that's what that's looking like let's add a little bit more over here I don't want to lose that color over here neither. <laughs> Go back into the deep purple and just blend that like so. All right. I can say that is it. We're going to take this little brush right here. And we're just going to blend out a little bit. Oh, and I'm going to take a tad bit of black, guys, just to tap in on that side. And a little in here. All right. And another thing, guys, if it's a look or a color you guys want me to do, let me know. Um, I will try my best to accommodate you guys. If it's anything you guys want to see me do or a, a, a look, let me know and I will uh, try my best to give you guys what you want. All right, we're going in with the LA Color Eyeliner today. Um, instead of the elf it looks like this and I purchased mine at the dollar store all right 
and we're going to oh wow all right I have to let that dry up before I can take that off I made a mistake and hit the liner right up there all right guys this one is a smaller brush also smaller than a uh, elf elf do have a smaller brush but this one is very more uh, smaller well really really small and I like that so just making a wing liner real quick filling that in And right now we're going to leave that like that. Go back into that palette. Try to get that. Uh, fix that. we can do <laughs> all right instead of going up under my um, eyes with a black um, pencil we're going to do a brown one ever done this but I think this is going to turn out okay let me put those back we're going to go in with the brown eyeliner up under our waterline put this on our waterline It doesn't look that bad. Just trying different colors and seeing what worked for me. Seeing what works. All right. Now that we have our liner on, we're going to put our lash on and we're going to start with this new foundation that I found at my dollar store, guys. I found it at the dollar store one dollar wait till I show you guys you guys are going to be shocked I was shocked too when I found it at my dollar store I wasn't looking for that to be at the dollar store sure wasn't this uh you go get it at the drugstore I think it's twelve dollars but you don't get that much product in it uh-uh and I'm glad I found it for a dollar because if I would have bought it for the original price I would have been mad because of the product you don't get that much product in it at all for a foundation I do like the foundation to me it would be an everyday um, foundation if you want to go just put it up under you know put your color corrector on and uh, put your color corrector on and then go in with the foundation and bam you out the door if you just want to go out and you know cover up you know your dark spots that's what I do okay I'm gonna let this dry a little bit we're gonna plop this on oh I still gotta blend my bra out I didn't blend it out guys so how was you guys New Year's I hope everybody had a great New Year I did like I said I can't complain well you don't want to stick on now let me 
get that glue from off of there because now it's going to really stick. <laughs> All righty here. Tell me I put it on. Too much on that side. Okay. I might have to take it back off. Nope. I don't. Yeah, I am. Yep. It was too much on the other side, so let's get some more glue. Because I know that done dried up. I hate that when that happens. <laughs> Be tussling with these bras. Yeah, so I hope you guys had a great, great, great new year. I know mine was. We just uh, relaxed pretty much. Brought in the New Year's praying, you know, studying and praying, you know. Not out there in the jungle. That's what I call it, the jungle. <laughs> oh, I got glued out here. Hey, that's all right. All right. want to act a nut tonight, don't they? Well, we're going to leave it like this. I'm not going to take this back off. All right. Good enough for me. I'm go back in, take my liner, cover up that. Oh, that's on there. Not. Still got to put some glue on that side. So, hold on, guys. Let me fix my lash. And I will be right back. All right, guys. Look good to me. I did have to pull it back off. So, hey, should have did it anyways. All right. Now, what we're going to go into. Oh, no. Wait a minute. We got one more thing on my eyes. I'm going to take this glow that came with this eyebrow pencil and I'm just going to tap this color up under my brow bone like so. I think that's very, very pretty. To me, that is pretty. Let me find a brush real quick to blend this out 
which is and it blends very very well I'm really liking that okay all right so yeah I'm really liking it so what we're going to do next is we're going to go into this foundation like I told you this is a foundation stick and this is um Maybelline Super Stay the stick foundation I know it's been out for a while and um yeah guys this color is in let me show you guys this color the one I'm using is 370 this is deep bronze so that's what color I'm using I got these at my dollar store for one dollar guys one dollar so this is something I did have a foundation stick um, a year ago used all of that up and when I'm just want to go out the door this is what I would use to cover up my dark spots um, so I got two more different colors here and the colors are this is warm I have one in warm coconut that is 356 and I have one in espresso and that's 380 look at this espresso guys but look how much product you're gonna get in this come on now for $12 in a store I would have been mad but that is a beautiful color come on that color I will contour with and this color is uh, burgundy I'm trying to see what that one go better on my face than uh, the deep bronze one. Oh, that's warm coconut. Mm. I don't know, guys. I may have to mix these two. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this one on. Oh, I thought that dried already. Yeah, that's the laugh of the day, guys. <laughs> hey, ain't no shame in my game, shoot. It is what it is. All right, I'm going to use that color, guys, and then I'm going to mix. Yeah, that's just a little bit dark, but I usually mix my foundations anyhow. So, we're going to put this. Now, I never tried this stick foundation. Now, this is new. So, I'm going to see how this turned out. Let me get a blending brush here. And, um, let's see how this going to turn out. All right. Hold up, guys. Something done for you. I'm going to get my setting spray from Milk. Let's put that on here. Just spray on that brush to just wet that a little bit. And we're going to go in the uh, brush that I'm using. This is the clear handle brush from e.l.f. also. So let's go in and see how this is going to blend down. Okay. I'm liking the blend. It's blending out real good. No, I never tried this before. It's been out for a minute. So, no, I never tried this. This is new to me. All right. So, I'm between warm coconut and deep bronze. That's what I'm between. Up under the eyes a little bit. Get that with the concealer. Let's just go in and 
Yeah, I'm loving the way this blends. Because we also going to go in with our um, beauty blender also. So that's what I do. Go in with uh, my brush and then I go, go in with my beauty blender. Okay. Okay. I'm liking it. see it trying new products I hope it dries down a little matter than this but we're going to get our beauty blender and we're going to wet that always go in with a wet beauty blender and we're going to blend that out finish blending it with the beauty blender because if there's any strokes in there from the brush. And I got these beauty blenders, guys, from the dollar store. Now, these, I do highly recommend these. These are very good beauty blenders. They're very durable. They hold up great. For a dollar, hey, you can't beat that. Just when you get them home, what I do, I wash them out. Before I use them. So, this blend, and blend. All right, we're gonna go in with our concealer. All right, that's not bad, guys. That didn't turn out too bad. Hmm. But I tell you this, in the summertime, I will be uh, using the deep bronze. Yeah. That's what I will be using. All right. Let's take our concealer. And... I knew that was the wrong one, so we just want to put that there like that. I want a little bit a lighter one. No, that's not light enough, so that's fine. An elf one. They look like the same color to me. So we're going to go in with uh, Elf Concealer. Yeah. Like I told you guys before, to me, this is a dupe for Tarte Shape, tart shape Tape. Because, uh, This really blends down pretty good also. And you can get this at your local Walmarts. If you have not tried the e.l.f. concealers, go try them. Cut that right there. And let's start blending, guys. I'm going to use the same beauty blender. And just blend that in. So, right. You just want to go. I go one shade, uh, one shade lighter than my complexion for my concealer, because once I put the powder on, the powder is going to brighten, brighten it up anyhow. So. Here we have it. Yeah, that's that, I love the blend on this concealer right here, ladies. If you haven't tried this, go try it. 
I don't know. Like I said, I'm still gonna buy my tire shade tape, but this is this is pretty cool. I like this one too. I really like this one. All right. Alright, the con um, concealer. The um, powder that we're going to go in with, we're going to go back into Becca. What we used earlier to do our eyes with, we're going to go back into Becca. Basically, just, you just press, press it down in there and voila, here she go like so alright see that brightens it up just a little bit now the Becca powder, I, like I said, I go between a couple of powders here and there. This is very, very finely milled. Um, very, it's a very light powder. I try to go light with everything I do. Um, pretty much. I have lines here. This is a very good powder also. And just a little bit bounce that off here a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. See, so you don't look that powdery with the, the Becca. That's what I like about that. It gives you that smooth to look to me. Wow, that purple. <laughs> I haven't done a colorful look in a while. I'm going to throw these colorful looks in, guys, for you. But like I said, if it's something you guys want to see me do, just let me know. Put it in the comment box and I will try my best to uh, get it out there to you. That's what I can do for you. All right, we're going to go in bronze a little bit here. And wow, I didn't even get a bronzer out. Mm hmm. Let me see. I'm going to go into Black Radiance Contour Palette. And the color we're going to be using is this one right here to bronze with. And I'm going to get my blush brush. Go into that color. And voila. There you have it. Black Radiance is also a good uh, makeup. I like it myself. Very much so. And it's very affordable. Very affordable, guys. Just a little here, a little there. Put a little contour on in a minute. Okay, let's do a blush. 
we're gonna go back into uh, I will change it up but I'm gonna go back into raisin right now tonight as far as blush like that Okay, and then we're going to go into, I'm going to do a highlight right here. It looked like I already done one, but that's concealer. A lot come out of this thing here. Well, we got to blend that out. <laughs> Oh, guys. Again, blend that out. We don't want to be, go out that you know, scare somebody now. We don't want to scare the folks. <laughs> oh, no. We don't want to do that. So, I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to go in with this highlight right here. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. So, yeah, if I do use the highlight, guys, it will only be a little bit. Because I don't want to be highlighting all my moles and people see them and all that craziness. <laughs> Shoot. But I am going to have them removed, though. Yep, that works for me. And we're going to take kind of all over the place tonight a little bit, but that's okay. We're going to take uh, Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy and we're going to go up under the eyes with that. I like doing this part right here because I do hide the wrinkles <laughs> a little bit and I blend that out like so. I need a tapered blending brush because I want to contour a little bit with this. Right up in here. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. God, I wish we could listen to some music. This is, uh, I gotta find me some music to play in the background. Yes, I do. At least it'll be a little bit more interesting. <laughs> Oh, yes. Okay, we'll blend it up like so. Yeah, I was all over the place tonight, guys. That's okay. Make that a little bit more. Take that beauty blender and blend that in. All righty, 
Oh, I gotta put all these brushes back. I did get the, all my brushes washed up. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Alright. Hmm. Now, we got a purple eyeshadow look. So, we're going to have to go in with first. Let me get my setting spray here. Um, trying to think of a color, lip color to go in with. Um, I'm going to have to do a nude. Because we already got the bold eyes going on. So we're going to have to do a new lip. So. Wait a minute guys. I think I got. Something up here. If I put it up here. Nope. I put it here. And we're going to go in with Elf. So what we're going to do is take a dark brown. Lip liner. I use a lot of products multiple times, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't look half bad. A matte eyeshadow look. Could have used a little bit more pink over here. And that should dry down on the mat, guys. So, this is the look for tonight. Hold on, guys. Alright, guys. Here we go. What I did with the lip. Did I leave the color here? I went back in with a little lighter color. And this is a uh, Wet n Wild. Uh liquid matte and then I put a little gloss on top of it so that's the only changes I did make to uh, the lip so this is the look and um, yep I hope you guys like it Let me try to blend that out some more so yep guys this is the finished look I hope you guys like uh, like the look <clears throat> this is what it looked like overall and I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, yes 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 uh, I will be back very soon with a video I was not planning to be gone that long like I said oh my goodness I just know God is good God is good when you can get up and walk away from an accident you are blessed you are blessed trust me so I can't complain about anything and like I always say, keep your head up and, and just, hey, thank God for Jesus. And um, 
keep the faith, guys. Keep the faith. Don't let nobody, nobody uh, move your faith. Because without faith, works is dead. We can't do anything. So I love you guys out there. And I will connect with you um, in my next video. Bye-bye, guys.